Well, on a more positive note, Apple's releasing iOS 17.3 next week, which is bringing stolen device protection and collaborative playlist. More specifically, we're going to talk about the stolen device protection, which is a security setting that gives an extra layer of protection if there's ever a time when someone steals your iPhone and also obtains your passcode, um, which was something that we were seeing actually happen, where people would pretty much shoulder surf and see you type in your password, then take your phone, and they could have then lock you out of your iCloud account. So to enable this, once you get 17.3, uh, you go to settings, face ID and passcode, and then you enable stolen device protection, which will now require a biometric before performing sensitive actions. Yeah, this is an important thing to turn on because it's one of the not like hypothetical risks. It's one of the like, yeah, this actually happens to real people who go to bars and they get their iPhone stolen and they get locked out of, you know, their entire lives of photos because of this stuff. So definitely enable this. And there will be also a security delay if you change sensitive settings, including creating a new Apple ID password, turning off Find My, and updating select Apple ID security settings like removing a trusted device or phone number. However, no delay is required when your iPhone is at home, work, or other familiar locations. So um, yeah, really cool stuff. I'm excited to see this. I'll be enabling this on day one that it comes out. Everyone should enable this, actually. I can't find a single person who shouldn't turn this on. Yeah, I have a hard time thinking of a down downside. I mean, there probably is one. There's always an exception, but for like 99% of people, I can't imagine there'd be any downside to this. 